Hello, and um, welcome to my moustache is still stuck to the side of my face while I've been sleeping and it's still stuck there. That didn't make much sense, did it? And neither will this. <laughs> Sorry, I apologise. I just wanted to make a quick video, right? Because um, something good happened on 25th January. Uh, Rennie, who have been predicting the end of the world every few months for the last five years. But I like her, and I think her intentions are good, and that's the main thing. And uh, so, you know, she had this date, 25th of January, or roughly. And wow, you know, I mean, stuff is happening. Look, look, at, look at Trump, it's crazy. It's crazy. Now Canada has said they're going to let a load of refugees in after Trump wants to ban, ban them. So Trump's going to have to build two walls. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, it's ridiculous. But interesting. Anyway, so on with what happened on January 25th. So. <coughs> right. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Right, I am the living Christ. I am the seventh living Christ. Each Christ at their conception... God came in and added a bit of DNA for whatever specific purpose God was going to use them for. So you had uh, Adam, Krishna, who was the same as um, Noah, Abraham, David, Yeshua, Francis, and then me. Right? Every thousand years, there's been a Christ. And so, um, what happened to me was, so God did something to my DNA, I could feel God. I had communion with God right here pretty much all the time. I was down with God. And um, I, roughly how old I was, I don't know. Anywhere between, well, I guess it would have been once my little brother had been born. So from either about two and a half years old to about three and a half years old in that time um, I s suppressed an emotion that was coming to me because it was scary scary right I don't want this and it wasn't actually my emotion it's a weird thing it was my brother's emotion but he wanted someone to share it and I think maybe that is something that goes on anyway that's the feeling I get I mean at the end of the day whether that's true or not I still had to feel the emotion but back then I didn't and that was when I started to walk away from God so even the Christ would walk away from God and God knew that that was what would happen I wasn't capable of feeling that and understanding it and you know not having a heart attack um, and that, so that was meant to be um, and so yes on the 25th of January cut a long story short I felt that emotion and I went through it and from what I've done over the last few years is you know enabled me, prepared me to finally be able to do it. So it's like an awesome thing. You know, like the... Christ with his at one moment state um, loses it, gets it back. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. I'm just cocking about now, aren't I? But it's all true. It's all true. I don't know why. I'm going to have this outside. Alright. Um, that probably didn't explain it very well, did it? So what, why did I share my brother? 
Um, <clears throat> now I can't prove this because it's somebody else, but <coughs> I did get the strong feeling, or I have had the feeling before that um, I my life has been stuck in between the two brothers, Cain and Abel. Now, I can't verify it because there are other people and only they know for sure. But, I first got that feeling a year or so ago, a year and a half ago. Mm. I've told them, and they quite like it. Especially my the older brother who I said is Cain. Anyway. Then more recently I worked out something about it from the Bible where Abel brings a sacrificed goat or whatever and the Lord is pleased and Cain brings a wheat offering and the Lord's not that bothered. Now, the Lord they're referring to at this point isn't God. Okay, so the first page of the Bible they're talking about Elohim, that God, that was God who made everything. Then they're talking about some other sort of um, Lord God who takes a rib out of Adam. And it's just a different story. I mean, to me, it might as well just be a lie. But interestingly, when, when Eve gives has a baby, she says, with the help of the Lord, I gave birth to a son, da 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 Now, obviously, Adam, her fella, was going to help out in this. And it seems like it's him that they're talking about here. So then when Abel brings an offering, a meat offering to the Lord, to Adam, he's pleased. He likes meat. He bought a bread. I don't want any bread. Get your bread away from me. So Cain kills Abel. So Cain was being righteous in the first place. He was doing what he was supposed to. It says on the first page, what will be our food is fruit and, uh, and uh, plants which grow the seed, seed bearing plants, right? So, having sort of figured that, you know, my brother's being Cain and Abel, I sort of, and obviously Abel, after being killed, he wasn't just pissed off he'd been killed, he's pissed off because he didn't have a line. There was no line of Abel. That's what really pissed him off. So they were, you know, so there was this big thing, so God, it seems like God just like, right, stop squabbling you two, Back down to earth, you know, God doesn't always get involved, but maybe in this stage. Get down to earth. The brother in the middle is Enoch, and he's here to be the seventh Christ, and he's going sort, to he's gonna help you sort things out. My brother was there feeling this emotion as my little brother's coming along, all this hate, all this stuff. I couldn't share it with him. And for the next 37 years, it, it, you know, when when it started, when it came up again, you know, it was familiar. It'd been around. It'd never gone away, like from the family home and stuff. Anyway, so I I, I felt that thing, and um, and it's all right. No, okay. <coughs> I'm always in a rush to get off for some reason. It's like. That's enough. Bye. Okay. Don't want to waste any of your more of your precious time. Precious time. AJ's videos have just come out. You can tell why it's taken so long. There's some problem with the microphone. Cutting out. And it's like they've had to go through every video and speak <laughs> with the microphone cut out. That must have taken ages. And being so boring. Well, so I've watched one video and one Q&A, or nearly finished the Q&A session on it. Fundamental facts. <laughs> God is infinite. I don't think he knows that. He just someone asked him, "How do we know God's infinite and not just really big?" And he goes, "Well, mathematics is infinite." 
So for something infinite to exist inside something else infinite, it must be infinite. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I think he's talking about source. But anyway, when you're listening to somebody else's theories about what is everything. <laughs> And it might not fit with your current viewpoint. I suppose you just got to be a bit open-minded. Got to try and see it from their point of view. Where are they coming from? And um, and there's truth there on certain levels, but there's also <sighs> it's also not necessarily true. So to kind of then he then he surmises, well, if God's infinite, we will never become infinite, because how can something infinite exist inside something else infinite? I mean, at least he's using my ideas now, saying we're in God. I don't know if he got that from me or got it from himself. Who knows? Who knows? Hmm. YouTube seems a bit, the comments section, they've sabotaged it. You can't reply to pro people properly anymore, which is annoying. Hopefully they'll fix that. Here's the moustache that's stuck to the side of my face. <laughs> Usually when I sleep on it, it's like, like that in the morning when I wake up. But you know, I should get one of those, um, well I won't. What people used to do, they used to sleep with a moustache thing on, didn't they? A little sleeping bag for your moustache. So when you wake up in the morning, it's all nice and sticky out here. Interestingly, the very first people who lived on the English island, like Druids or whatever, were said to have shave everywhere except their upper lip. Interesting. Interesting. And I think that's enough. So did I explain what I did? So I felt the guilt of Cain. And for me personally, that was the first coming away from God, which... Going right back to the start, I said in a video, I had this memory of... I knew before that something had happened that I'd done to go away from God. So, it's, it is good, it is good. Um, so, we'll see. Okay, thanks, bye.